so today we begin with a new chapter chapter 7 variations okay now you have learned about this chapter in your previous class your 7th standard class you already know what is direct variation and what is inverse variation now we just begin with practice set 7.1 so the first question says the circumference c of a circle is directly proportional to its radius r and you have to write the following statement using symbols okay what you have to do is use symbols symbol of variation okay this is your question basically now first one circumference c of a circle is directly proportional to its radius so how do we write that c whatever initial they have given we'll use that and the directly proportional sign is this so c is di directly proportional to the radius that is r okay that's it that's your answer now here consumption of petrol l so l in a car and the distance traveled by that car d are in direct proportion so l is directly proportional to d that's it you don't have to do anything more you just have to write it in symbol form now let's go to the next sum sum number two okay sum number two now here they say complete the following table considering that the cost of apples and the and their number are in direct variation okay now x is the number of apples and here the bottom line is the cost of apples now remember when we say direct variation at that time you have to remember that the ratio is always constant that means 1 upon 8 is equal to 4 upon 32 when you use the word direct variation it means the ratio is constant what it has constant ratio okay so now if we take this okay 4 upon 32 and this let let's label the let uh, let's name this as x so x upon 56 so 4 upon 32 is going to be equal to x upon 56 because it's direct variation so the ratio is going to be constant so let now you're in this first one 4 upon 32 and we'll keep x upon 56 okay since it's direct vari variation ratio is constant since it's direct variation ratio is constant okay so let's cross multiply 4 into 56 is equal to x into 32 so this 32 goes down so 4 into 56 upon 32 is equal to x okay 4 ones are 4 4 4 8s are 32 okay 8 ones are 8 8 sevens are 56 Therefore, x is 1 into 7, that is 7. So, the value of x is 7. That means here we have 7. Now, let's take the other, the next one. This column is blank, right? So, we'll take it as, let the unknown number be x. Okay, let's do the second part. Look here. You have 7 upon 56, 12 upon dash. So, now what we'll do is, 7 upon 56 and 2 is equal to 12 upon nothing is given so let the unknown number be y so let let us take y over here okay so 7 into y is equal to 56 into 12 y cross multiply now y remains alone 7 goes down as the denominator okay 7 comes down so 7 ones are 7 7 eights are 56 so what remains y is equal to 8 into 12 therefore y is equal to 96 so here we have 12 upon 96 12 upon 96 now 12 upon 96 is equal to we'll have to take another number here we, we need to find out a, the number which comes here so let this 
unknown number be z so 12 upon 96 is equal to z upon 160 and we'll find this by cross multiplication so what i'll do is the third part 12 upon 96 is equal to dash upon 160 so here let the unknown number b z so z upon 160 fine so now again cross multiply 12 into 160 is equal to z into 96 now z remains alone 96 comes down is equal to z okay now you have 12 ones are 12 12 8s are 96, 8 1s are 8, 8 2s are 16 and 0. Therefore, z is equal to 20. Okay, so when you have the value of z as 20, we'll write it here. So, z is 20 to sum number 3. Now, if m is directly proportional to n, m is 154 and n is 7, find the value of m when n is 40. So now first they have given you the value of m and n. m is how much? 154. And n is how much? n is 7. So remember, when you have direct variation, when m is directly proportional to n, now this is the solution I am writing. When m is directly proportional to n, therefore a, m is equal to k n. k is constant. Okay, this is the equation of variation. Now let's find out the constant. How much is the constant? Now what is the value of m here? 154. Let's put 154 in place of m. And k is how much? We don't know. n is how much? 7. Okay, this is for the first one where m is equal to 154 and n is equal to 7. Here you have this. 154 is equal to k into 7. So now k remains alone. 154 upon 7 is equal to k. We have to find out the value of k, right? So in order to find out the value of k, substitute the value of m and n. m is 154, n is 7. 154 upon 7, 7 ones are 7, 7 twos are 14, carry 1, 7 twos are 14. So value of k is 22. Okay, we got the value of k. Now find the value of m. That means value of m is how much if n is equal to 14 and k is equal to 22. Got it? First, what did we do? We got m and we got n. So, we, we had to find out k. After getting k, the next statement. Find m when n is 14. k is going to remain constant. So, what m is directly proportional to n? Again, those two lines will come. m is equal to k n. Now, my value of m, I don't know. So, I'll write m because I have to find out, no, k, 22, multiply by n, n, 14. So, what we'll do is 22, multiply by 14, 4 2s are 8, 4 2s are 8, 2 1s are 2, 2 1s are 2, 8, 3 0 8, when 22 multiply by 14 is 3 0 8, so the value of m is 3 0 8. I hope this is clear. First, find the constant. Once you get the constant, whatever values they give you in the next statement, you just have to substitute. Okay, so the answer is 308. Now, now sum number 5 says y varies directly as square root of x. So, y, solution y is directly proportional to the square root of x. Remember the square root sign now. You, you know, I told you when you get directly proportional, so y is equal to k root x, where k is constant. Write this line first, then you can solve everything. y is directly proportional to the root of x, so therefore y is equal to k root x, where k is constant. Now, when x is 16, y is 24. x is 16, y is 24. Find the constant of variation and equation of variation. First, find the constant means find k. y is equal to k root x. Value of y is 24 is equal to k 
root of x means root of 16 therefore 24 is equal to k into root of 16 is 4 so this k remains alone 4 comes down so 24 upon 4 is equal to k 4 ones are 4 4 6 are 24 therefore value of constant is 6 they told you find the constant of variation so we found the constant of variation that is how much 6 and equation of variation now equation of variation is what equation of variation okay this is what 6 is what constant of variation equation of variation means pick up this equation and put the value of k so y in this y is equal to k root x right y is equal to k root x just put the value of k here k is amma 16 so your equation is going to be y is equal to 6 root x this is your equation that's it now remuner 6 sum will do the total remuneration paid to laborers employed to harvest soya bean is in direct variation with the number of laborers if remuneration of four laborers is rupees 1000 find the remuneration of 17 laborers okay now in this sum what we'll do is we'll write it in the table format like number of laborers and the remuneration paid and then we will solve the sum okay so number of laborers and remuneration remuneration is basically the salary okay the wages fine we'll do this way so then it becomes easy for us so if remuneration of four laborers is rupees 1000 so number of laborers four and remuneration is 1000 find the remuneration for 17 laborers we have to find how much 17 laborers will get if four are getting 1000 so let the remuneration for 17 laborers b x fine right? so this is x since it's an example of direct variation it's they have told us here in the question itself that it's an it's an direct variation so it's an example of direct variation therefore ratio will be constant that means 4 upon 1000 is equal to 17 upon x this ratio is equal to this ratio because it's an example of direct variation so we'll write it that way 4 upon 1000 is equal to 17 upon x now cross multiply so 4 into x is equal to 17 into 1000 now you have to leave x alone over here this is multiplied it comes here it becomes divided so x is equal to 17 upon 1000 divide 17 into 1000 so x is equal to 17 into 1000 divide by 4 4 ones are 4 4 twos are 8 carry 2 4 fives are 20 0 so 250 into 17 so let's do it 250 25 also we can take then add a 0 there 25 into 17 7 fives are 35 7 twos are 14 plus 3 17 into 2 5 5 So 425 and that's 0, this 0. So x is equal to rupees 4250. So final answer, write it in statement form. Find the remuneration of 17 laborers. So for the, the remuneration for 17 laborers is rupees 4250. I hope it's clear to you.